Hello everybody, uh, today we're going to be opening up the brand new mystery booster here. We're just going to be opening up one box here. Uh, this is the Game Capital. Um, buy trading cards, all that fun, board games, we got all that stuff. We're in uh, Wisconsin, um, Green Bay area. Uh, and we're just gonna we're just gonna open this mystery booster. It's definitely an interesting product here. Um, I mean, we got just the biggest reprint set we probably have. I mean, it is the the biggest reprint set we've ever had. Um, very cool. Let's see if I can get this thing open. All right, and come on, come on. oh geez, these scissors bad. All right. All right, so we're just gonna get it right in here. You know, there's a thousand whatever cards in this set, so we have no idea what we're gonna get, and that's you know, kind of the point of these mystery boosters, right? All right, so let's get in front of here and see what we got. All right. So, first pack of the mystery booster. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so starting with uncommons. Um, okay, all right, uh, okay, the pack order is crazy. All right, all right, so we got our, our white cards first. So we got Ghostblade Eidolon, Wild Griffin, Scab Goliath, Divination, Calestria Nightwatch. I like how they kept, like, the, the set symbol from the set it's actually from. That's really cool. Lawless Broker, Bolduvian Horde, Frail Despiter, Ancient Brontodon, Acidic Slime, High Spire Mantis. Ooh, Unclaimed Territory. Ooh, Phyrexian Metamorph for our first rare. Good card. Fantastic. Very good. Uh, misdirection. And then a foil. Trailblazer's Boots. Very cool. Yeah, see, like, they even kept the border, but just put, like, this there. That's awesome. That's really cool. I like that. All right. So Misdirection, Phyrexian Metamorph, and a foil Trailblazer's Boots. Not bad for our first pack, since, <clears throat> since we have really... No idea what the heck could be in these. Alright, so a second pack here. Let's see what we got. Alright, we got a Wing Shepherd. Let me just do a little organization here. Alright, Wing Shepherd, Healer's Hawk, Windcaller Avon, Metallic Rebute, Touch of Moon Glow, Baleful Amet, Impact Tremors, that's a good reprint. Uh, Firebolt, Byway Courier, Invigorate, that's cool too. Ooh, Lightning Helix, Pilgrim Eye, Knight of Dawn. Man, they even got the borders and everything. Oh, jeez, that's so cool. Uh, oh, mine shit. Oh, and our first foil mythic is Send Triplets. Really cool card. Awesome. I love it. It's a really cool commander. Don't see that one very often. All right. Second booster here, or third, third booster. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, this is just, this is weird, man. This is, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. All right, we got Defiant Strike. Slash of Towns, Nibbles of Dust, Mystic of the Hidden Way. That card was fun in draft. Catacomb Slug. Ooh, I'm missing one. Ooh, a Fatal Push. Nice. That's a good. It's a good one to get there. Maximize Velocity. Mog Fanatic. New Horizons. Basking Rootwalla. Esper Charm. Mishra's Bobble too. Jeez. All right. Oh man, Tower of Aeons. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Not not a good rare, but it's a rare. Mirren Crusader. Ooh, and a Foil Lightning Storm. Nice. Nice, uh, really good in the uh, in the ad nauseum combo in modern there. Kind of a weird card. You have to discard cards to make it do more, and but like it, it's like a counter on the stag. Really weird card. Anyways, all right. Leonin War Leader, Zealous Strike, Sphinx's Tutelage, another good reprint. Uh, River Serpent, Myers Malice, Scare of Beasts, Destructive Tampering. Polygon Stormsinger, Grapple with the Pat. Ooh, Ancient Strings, too. Gee, all right, all right. So a lot of good common and uncommon reprints so far. A lot of bad ones, but some good ones. All right, Raging Swordtooth, Ornithopter, Phantasmal Dragon. Ooh, Alhammerat's Archive. This is a very good card for Commander. It was getting kind of pricey, too, so that's good to see that. And <laughs> our foil is Wall of Shards. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, well, every, every, every little bit counts. Cool foil. Yeah, I am. I'm in love with the fact that they kept everything the same except for the little icon in the corner. That's just that's just so cool. 
All right, Cliffside Lookout, Intrusive Pack Beast, Flash Freeze, Thought Scour, another good reprint, Weight of the Underworld, Rakdos Drake, Sarkon's Rage, Lightning Javelin, Rose Thorn Halberd. Man, like even some like that's that's Throne of Eldrain, like that set just happened. That's crazy. Colossal Dreadmaw, Soul Manipulation, Perilous Mirror, Dolmen Gate. That is another weird one. Ooh, uh, Michael Oth. Ooh, and a Foil Nephilim. <laughs> All right, we got the white, blue, black, red one. That's 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 pretty awesome. That's really cool. You definitely like to see that stuff. Michael Oth was the other rare. Uh, interesting card. Um, just counters and tokens and devour. It's, you know, pretty cool. All right. Shining Aerosaur. Seal of Cleansing. Silent Observer. Door Keeper. Dark Babbling, Balistrude Spy, Torch Couriers, Cinder Helion, Woodborne Behemoth, Desert Twister, Absent Guide. Ooh, Blasted Landscape, a nice little little reprint there, some basic cycling there. Archangel, ooh, Champion of the Parish was our rare. Blast versus Curse, too, they didn't even go with the Innistrad one, that's interesting. And our foil is the Greater Moss Dog. Well, it's, it's a Moss Dog, it's just foil common. Alright, keep her going here, and we're gonna see what we get. Alright, Territorial Hammer Skull, Faith Bear Paladin, Trail of Evidence, Phantasm Bear. Love all the illusions, such cool cards. Fetid Imp, Fen Hauler, Wojek Bodyguard, Orcish Cannonade, Nest Invader, Blossom Dryad, Unflinching Courage. Ooh, a Skull Clamp, that's just nice to have. Alright, okay, then we have a Crystal Shard, Precursor Golem, ooh, and a Foil Karthus. Tyrant of Jund. Awesome. Super fun dragon commander. Might not be as good as uh, the Ur Dragon, but I'm going to say I'm a fan of the classics. All right. Then we have Undo Great Torn. Oops. That's in the wrong spot there. Djeru's Renunciation. Ooh, that's a weird word to say. All right. Grasp of Phantasm, Aether Trade Winds, Alley Strangler, Virtulent Swipe. Scream Reach Brawler. Prickle Boar. Man, I'm so excited to draft this set. This looks awesome. <laughs> uh, Natural Connection. Ooh, Venom Sliver. So some Sliver reprints. That's good. Celestia Guild. Ah, Hot Soup. Ah, oh, man. I love this card so much. It, it's just like all about it is just amazing. So the equipped creature can't be blocked. Whenever it's dealt damage, destroy it. Which is just fun because he's carrying soup. And just the, the flavor text coming through. Just, oh, God, I love that card. All right, ooh, Floodgate, interesting. Ooh, Coat of Arms. Once again, they went with the dual deck printing, which is kind of interesting. I'm not really sure why they did that. But that's a fantastic card. Well-needed reprint, as always. Always need Coat of Arms reprints. And then our foil is Balduvian Rage. Bit of an interesting card. It's got one of the slow trips. But it's also like a pump, so, you know, it's kind of cool. Cool card. All right. And then Crib Swap, nice. Avon Sentry, Augury Owl, Essence Scatter, Nirkana Assassin, Prakata Club Security, all right. Frontline Rebel, Mutiny, Ryhawk Smallers, Kozlex Predator, the good old FKZ Flamekin Zealot, Reliquary Tower, always needed. And, oh, Master Transmuter, oh, we got like three, rel three rares? Okay, cool, so we got Master Transmuter, Cranko Mob Boss, always need more of those guys. And a Foil Boundless Realms, nice. This is a just an awesome card in ADH. I love that card. Nothing like doubling your lands. All right, now let's see what we got. Oh, we got a, we got a Bartered Cow here. Let me never die. Oh man, that's funny. All right, uh, Great Horn Kushok, Circular Logic, Jace's Phantasm, Infernal Scarring, Child of Night, Spark Mage Apprentice, Commando, Root Out, Groundswell, all right, Reflector Mage, all right, cool, cool. Oh, Bajuka Bog, <laughs> oh man, Draco, that's funny. <laughs> oh, they're respecting the classics in this set, that is for sure. They, that, that is, there's no doubt about that. All right, and then Phyrexian Plague Lord, and our foil is Aurelius Fury, very cool foil. Um, I just love the art on this card. Like, just looks awesome. Love it. Cool. All right. 
And moving right along. We've got Sheer Drop, Congregate, Wall of Frost, Caratouche of Knowledge, Blighted Bat, Cursed Minotaur, Vandalize, Cranko's Command, Red Growth, Dragon Seal Boon, Vengeful Rebirth, Implement of Malice. Fun names there. Ooh, Triumph of the Horse. That this card has gotten super expensive over time. Like I, I get why, but holy cow, this card's gotten really expensive. Good, good, good to get there. Ooh, same with Basilisk Call. This is another card that's just Keeps going up in price, so it's good to see it reprinted. Ooh, Mana Wef Sliver is our foil. Nice. This is a card people are always looking for. People always want to make slivers, so that's good. That's good. All right. And next we have Light Form. Felidar Guardian. Oh, good. Another good reprint. Guard go go Mazo. Oh no. Oh no, I dropped it. Oops. Oopsies. Oopsie poopsies. Alright. Shimmer Scale Drake. Voracious Null. Trespasser's Curse. Blazing Volley. Roast. Become Immense. Beast Within. That's another good reprint. Gwendolyn Hedge Mage. Okay. Ooh, a Soul Ring. Nice. That's awesome. Ooh, Helm of Awakening is our one of our rares. One one of them. Uh, all spells cost one. Gen oh man, they even like use the old, <laughs> the old wording on it and everything. the The bottom looks a little weird though, because it looks like it's like legitimately just like a, a scan that they just like plopped onto a new uh, new template. But still, very awesome. Uh, Stunt double, are the rare awesome, really good card. Just a clone with flash, love it. And then our foils <laughs> form of the dragon. Oh man, I've messed around with this card quite a bit. It is, it is weird. <laughs> All right, so we got some pretty good hits so far. Um, uh, just in terms of reprints uh, in the common and uncommon and at the rare, and a couple of our foils have been pretty good so far, so let's hope we keep it going. All right, Stonehaven Medic, Inspired Charge, Containment Membrane, Amphin Path Mage, Salamander Wizard, interesting. Uh, Doom to Center, Wrench Mind, okay. Volcanic Rush, Fiery Hellhound. Ah, uh, Sakura Tribe Elder, good, good choice, boys, good choice. Uh, Essence Warden, another good one. Ooh, the Uncommon Blade Wing the Risen. Ether Hub, Black Knight, okay. Then we have Mind Spring for our rare. And the <laughs> Foil Herald of Leshrac. That is, um,. That's an interesting one, too. This this is a really weird effect, too. So it's got cumulative upkeep. Uh, it's a 7-drop, flying. Gain control of a land you don't control. So every upkeep, you get somebody else's land, and then it gets plus 1, plus 1 for each land you don't control. And then when he leaves, they get them all back. But just, like, a really weird card, because you can just take everybody's lands <laughs> if he survives long enough. It's just a weird card. All right. So, and we have Righteous Cause, Fragment Eyes, Mr. Raven, Snapping Drake, Withering, Dark Withering, Tidy Conclusion, Blood Lust Insider, Shatter, Jungle Delver, Experiment One, all right, Thought Erasure, ooh, Fairy Conclave, and then our first rare, Bow of Nylia, nice. Ooh, then we have Goblin Charbelcher, and our foils, ooh, Foil Goblin Bushwhacker. This is a good card, this is good. It's a good, good one to have. And a foil, nonetheless. Awesome. So, so far, we have not gotten a single of the same card, I don't think. I, they're like, yes, this is a huge set. We've gone through more than half the box, or half the box at this point. A little bit more than half. And not a single reprint. Or a same, not a single duplicate, sorry. That's, that's crazy. I, I, that's, I... I, I just I am having trouble understanding that because that's so weird. We never have stuff like this. All right, so we got the Lonesome Unicorn. We got the Pressure Point, Foil, Retraction Helix, Nantuko Husk, Gifted Etherborn. That's another good reprint. That card was like three bucks for some reason. Uh, Grape Shot, Emrakul's Hatcher, Undo Giant, Hunt the Weak, Armant Corpse, Ashnod's Altar. Okay, another good one. Ooh. Okay, so we got a Mythic first. All right. Uh, we got Dragon Broodmother, cool mythic, uh, not really great, but Ooh, and then we got a Grave Crawler, nice, Grave Crawler's fantastic, very good card, and our, our foil is a Rhyhox, just Rhyhox. 
Deals combat damage to defending players that weren't blocked. Good old 10th edition. They got, they got some interesting things in there. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we got Celestial Crusader, Knight of the Tusk, Calculated Dismissal, Hieroglyphic Illumination, Dune Beetle, Lord of the Accursed, Good and More Zombie Lords, uh, Blood Ogre, Tar Fire, Yeva's Force Mage, Avacyn's Pilgrim, Jungle Barrier. Alright, so then next will be the rare, so Mirror Retriever. Oh, no, one more. Hedron Crat. Okay, so it's kind of like weird. I don't. I'm not sure I understand exactly how they do this. Alright, Hedron Crab. Very good, uncommon, though. Uh, ooh, Eldrazi Monument. Nice. Plus one, plus one, flying indestructible. And the upkeep, sacrifice a creature. If you can't, you have to, have to sacrifice it. So just a really good mythic there. And our other, our foil mythic here, Lich's Mirror. This is, um, yeah, this is a weird one. Not gonna lie. This one, basically, if you lose the game, you just get to restart your, your whole thing. Not everybody else, though, which is kind of why it's, it's weird, but... You restart. All right. Ooh, Palace Jailer. That's just a, a good card. Uh, refurbish. Ink Fathom Divers. Exclude. Shriek Maw. Curse Spirit. This would have been a good draft pack. Hyena Pack. Act of Treason. Greater Basilisk. Reign of Thorns. Croesus's Charm. Alchemist Vile. All right. So our first rare, Dominus of Fealty. Pretty cool card. Our second rare is Prey Caesar Dragon. Nice, nice. Ooh, and a foil glittering wish. This card was. This is just one of those really cool cards that you just don't see anymore. Uh, it's just a tutor that you can choose a multicolored card from outside the game and put it in your hand for two mana, which is pretty nuts. All right, getting towards the end here. So, Shining Armor, Blade Instructor, Frantic Search. I'm going to go a little bit faster in the commons on commons, unless I see one that really catches my eye. Uh, Mahatma Jin, Centaur, Eternal Thirst. Stop it. Brute Strength, Sergeant, Territorial Bayloth, uh, Hunter's Ambush, Crone Hoplite, Ice Manipulator. All right, first rare, Hypnotic Specter. Second rare, Beastmaster Ascension. That's a good one to get. Ooh, and <laughs> Foil Braid of Fire. See, I guess the, the really cool thing about these these foils that they're thrown in here is most people don't have random rare foils from stuff like cold snap and uh future sight and all this other these weird older sets that just there's just not a lot of the, those foils in circulation so it's really cool to see some of them uh just exist all right so, Gift of Estates, Knight of the Skyward Eye, Dreadwaters, Glacial Crasher, Massive Mummy, Die Young, Live Fast, Die Young, Gorehound Minotaurs, Mark of Mutiny, Crows and Druid, Dissenters, Deliverance, Treacherous Terrain, Millstone, Bone Splitter. <laughs> Just classic Bone Splitter. All right, first, only one rare? In this? No, two rares. Okay, Goblin Pile Driver. Nice, nice, good one. And a Spell Tithe Enforce. This is a pretty cool card. Whenever an opponent plays a spell, that player sacrifices a permanent unless he or she pays one. Just kind of like one of the classic tax effects that just really, really hurts your opponent for making them do things. So that's cool. All right. Rep Crop Seer Master, Candlelit Vigil, Drag Under, Bastion Inventor, Revenant, Renegades Getaway, Got Bandit Glass, nice. Ooh, a good old young PZ, young Pyromancer. Uh, Turn Timber Basilisk, Basilisk, uh, Borderland Ranger, Tide Drinker, Hexplate Golem. Ooh, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, all right, ooh, Soothsaying, that's that's a nice little little reprint. I like that, I like seeing that. Uh, ooh, and then our <laughs> Temporal Mastery. Ooh, and a foil knowledge pool. All right. Whenever knowledge pool enters battlefield, each player exiles the top card, three cards of their silver library. Whenever a player casts a spell from his or her hand, that player exiles it. If the player does, he or she may cast another non-land card to exile with knowledge pool without paying that card's mana cost. This is a really cool effect. Um, basically, just kind of like you gotta if you want to cast a spell, it's got to be one of the ones in the knowledge pool. You don't get to cast the actual thing you want to cast, but maybe later you can. It's, it's very weird. Also with Teferi and Curse of Echoes and all that stuff, they they don't get to cast anything, but or exhaustion, but yeah, whatever. That's that's neither here nor there. All right, Windborn Charge. 
Seeker the Way, always always welcome reprint. Scroll Thief, Core Helm Guide, Infest, Trial of Ambition, Azra Blade Seeker, Summit Prowler, Affectionate Indric, Crown Ceratok, Winding Constrictor, Ooh, Maester's Factory, love it. Oh, uh, this is a funny one. So, Sapphire Charm, that's a... That, that's an interesting one. Um... So this card actually used to, the way phasing works with Batter Skull, this used to be a little tech card against Batter Skull when Stoneforge Mystic was the the hotness in Legacy. Uh, if you phase out the token, it like exiles the uh, Batter Skull itself. It's really weird. Anyways, phasing, right? Uh, oh, nice. A good Mythic, Salvala, Heart of the Wilds. This is uh, this is an amazing, amazing card. Uh, Fantastic commander card. Good to see it a reprint here. And, ooh, a foil lapse of certainty. Uh, the good old memory lapse, but white. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. That's that's cool. All right, three more packs. We'll see, uh, we'll see how we do here. And then I'll do a little recap when we're done here. We'll just kind of look at the, the rares and the, the foils and see exactly how we did. Uh, Danitha, Caption Parian, Excavation Elephant, Tidal Warrior, Ether Snipe, Stormcurt Patrol, Black Cat, Expedite, Blood Mad Vampire, Sapperling Migration, Commune with Nature, Pollen Bright Wings, Thorn of Falls. All right, Elixir of Immortality, and our first rare is Solemn Simulacrum. Good old sad robot. Awesome. Good reprints all around. We love it. Ooh, and we got a foil Stormcrow. Holy cow, that's amazing. All right, guys. I mean, come on. We got to respect the foil Stormcrow the best the best card in the history of magic uh black lotus moxes soul ring accessory call they got they ain't got nothing on storm crow that's awesome i love that they made this a foil <laughs> that's that's just great all right good stuff good stuff all right Aura of Silence, nice reprint. Core Firewalker, another good reprint. Uh, Send to Sleep, Lay Claim, Demon's Grass, Painful Lessons, From Blood Berserker, Atarka Freet, Thornweld Archer, Overrun, oh, good old Overrun, uh, Blightning, all right, uh, so the next one's uh, rare? No, uncount. Okay, Kurum Refuge, Rashadin Footpad, and our rare, ooh, Recruiter of the Guard, awesome. This is a, just a really good tutor effect, awesome to see. Uh, Iron Mirror is our foil. Just taps to add a red. Good old mirrors. I love mirrors. They're just, they're awesome. All right. Last pack magic here. We're hoping for, uh, hoping for like a mana crypt here. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Especially in the la last pack, but we'll see what we can do. All right. Sparring Mummy. Collar of the Culprit. Stream of Thought. River Rail Arius. Thornboat Archer. Festering Newt. Hardened Berserker. Bogart Brute. Timberwatch Elf. Feral Crushock. Uh, belligerent Brontodon. Ooh, a jungle shrine. All right, so our first rare, Chancellor of the Annex. Uh, it doesn't look like a mana crypt. Talrand, uh, and a Gorilla Tactics is our foil. Deals two damage to creature or player, and when a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard Gorilla Tactics, it deals four damage instead. Really weird card here. All right, so we're just going to do a quick little uh, little overview of our, of our rares here. This is a full box, so we're just going to kind of see exactly what we've got. Uh, I'm just going to go quick here. Mythic. Oh, that's our foil. Rare, rare, rare. Mythic, rare, mythic, rare, 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 rare. Rare, mythic, rare, 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 and rare. All right, so as we can see here, we have, we don't have any duplicates for rares, mythics, at all. Like, every every single one is different. That's, that's really, I, I just, <laughs> it just doesn't, it just, I, I don't know, man. This is so unique. It's so cool that they did this. I... Oops, sorry, that's a mythic. Okay. Uh, I just... I don't know. I, I, I can't explain it. All right, and so then our mythics here. We've got five mythics. All fantastic mythics, maybe except for the Broodmother, but that, that's not even that bad. Um, so that's pretty cool. 
And then we'll look at the foils real quick. Uh, some of the foils are just whatever, but there's some cool ones. So we got some foil rares, foil uncommons, commons. A lot of the rares appear to be like at the rare slot. Like I think we're gonna have more more rares, foil rares and mythics than we are gonna have commons and uncommons, which is really just bizarre. I, I don't. That, that's not hardly ever the case, you know. Yeah, we we had four foil mythics right here, and only four foil uncommons and five foil commons and we have five ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven foil rares that is <laughs> that's bizarre like this is this is a weird set man <laughs> i love it though like this is so cool like once again no duplicates at all and like all these uncommons and commons like None of them are the same. We haven't, we, we just, we didn't get anything that was the same. And that's, that's just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. So I don't know what like the, what the number is, but so in a box of 24 packs, we have five mythics and four foil mythics. So you're averaging, I guess if, if this continues, nine mythics a box, which is just uh, like I, I don't. That's that's crazy. This is this is awesome. I'm super excited to get in and draft this set. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited just to just to open up packs of this. This just looks like the best time. <laughs> I, I don't know about you guys, but I am I'm super excited. All right, so uh, so to wrap up. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. Uh, my name is Patrick for the Game Capital. Uh, if you need some cards for Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, uh, Cardfight Vanguard, all that stuff, TCG Player, slash the Game Capital, buy cards, all that fun stuff. We have lots of fun stuff for you. And uh, most of these are going to, once we can sell them, we'll go right on there. So if you're in need of any of these cards, check it out. Thank you very much. You guys have a wonderful day, and we will see you next time. Thank you.